Welcome sa spnine.com uh, In this video, itutuloy natin ating series on how to solve age problems. So, ito na yung pinaka uh, huling problem natin ano, sa series na ito. And uh, kung napapansin ninyo at kung napapanood ninyo yung mga previous videos natin, ay we are uh, solving uh, yung problems na mayroong mga fractions, ano, yung mga last part na ng ating series. So dito ay, uh, tignan natin itong problem na to. Donna is 6 years older than Demi. And then, um, one-fifth of Donna's age a year ago added to three-fourth of Demi's age is equal to uh, Demi's age. Medyo nakakalito itong ano na ito, no? Nung problem na ito dahil meron siyang past at saka present. Saka marami siyang sinasabi, no? Um, Isa-isahin natin, ano? Donna is 6 years older than Demi. So, ang kailangan natin ma-detect dito is kung ano ba sinasabi niyo kung present ba or past ba, no? So, Donna is 6 years older than Demi. Ano ba yung present ba yun or past? So, present siya. No? Wala siyang sinasabi kung a year ago or 2 years ago. So, 6 years older than uh, Demi. No? So, pag sinabi kung blue, ito ay present. Ibig sabihin. Now, um... Kita natin na si Donna ay mas matanda. No? So, if we let the age of Demi be X, then the age of Donna is, of course, X plus 6. No? The years itong X na ito. No? So, halimbawa, uh, si uh, Demi ay uh, 10 years old. Si Donna ay magiging 10 plus 6, which is 16. No? So, this is the age of Demi. And this is the age of Donna. Okay. So, okay na ito. Okay na tayo sa unang sentence. One-fifth of Donna's age a year ago added to three-fifths of Demi's age is equal to Demi's age. So, unahin muna natin ito. No? One-fifth of Donna's age a year ago. So, past siya, di ba? Kasi one, one year ago daw eh. So, tong, tong portion na to, from here to here. Oh, sorry. Yung portion na to, from here to here, talks about the past, ano? So, Donna's age a year ago. One-fifth of Donna's age a year ago. At ilang taon ba si Donna a year ago? No? So, a year ago, si Donna ay x plus 6 minus 1. So, whatever the age of Donna, ito yung now, no? This is the age now, itong portion na to. So, a year ago, ang age ni Donna ay x plus 6. Ito yung current age niya, minus 1. So, magiging x plus 5 na lang. Ito yung Donna's age. A year ago. Okay. Yung ating uh, pangalawang statement, ano? Added to three-fourth of Demi's age. Yung three-fourth of Demi's age ba, siya ba ay uh, pa past or present? Oh, sorry. Siya ay present, ano? Three-fourth of Demi's age. Wala naman siya sinabing one year ago or three years ago. So, 3 fourth of Demi's age. Ito yung uh, age ni Demi, no? So, 3 fourth siya is equal to Demi's age. So, pwede na tayo gumawa ng, gumawa ng equation kasi nakikita na natin itong equal, ano? So, ano, ano? Ito yung equation natin. 1 fifth of Donna's age. So, no? 1 fifth, no? Of what, no? Donna's age a year ago. Ito yung... Donna's age a year ago. X plus 5. No? Oh, sorry. Equals. No? Oh, sorry. Ito pala tayo tapos. One fourth of, or one fifth. One fifth of Donna's age a year ago. Ito yun. Ito na yun. Added to. Siyempre plus, no? Added to. Three-fourths. 
three fourth of Demi's age. What is the age of Demi now? It's all x. Is equal to Demi's age. I know I know age Demi x. No? So yung part na to, yung part na to dito present din ito. Okay, so pag wala siya sinasabi, na-assume natin siya na present. So equals x, no? So gagamit na lang tayo ng, ano, ng isang ink para, isang kulay na ink para tayo siya na mahirapan ano, sa ating uh, pagkakompute. So, meron tayong fraction, 1 fifth tsaka 3 fourth, and para usually, ma para mawala yung fraction sa equation, ang ginagawa natin is minumultiply lang natin sa LCM, no? So, and we know that the LCM of 4 and 5 ay 20, no? So, para natin malaman yan, pwede tayong mag-list ng mga multiples ng dalawang number, no? So, multiples of 4, 4, 8, no? 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on, no? And then multiples of 5, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. So, pag dinulong-tulong natin yan, magkaroon tayo ng maraming multiples, no? Pero ang hinahanap lang natin, yung least common multiple. So, yun yung 20, no? Yun yung naunang lumabas, yun yung pinakamaliit. So, common multiples ng, or common multiple ng 4 and 5. And, uh, they are not just, or, hindi they kasi the, pareho 20, no? This is, uh, it is not just a common multiple, but it is the least common multiple. Dahil siya yung pinakamaliit, ano? Pag tinuloyin natin to meron pa yung mga common. Halimbawa, magiging common nila yung 4D. So, pag tinuloyin nyo yung list na to magiging 40 and 60, 80, and 100. Common yung mga yun, and we are looking for the least para mas madali mag-compute, ano? So, what we do is we multiply the equation by 20. No? Lahat ng parts ng equation, multiply natin by 20. No? Okay? So, magiging 20 times 1 fifth, magiging 20 over 5. No? So, alalahan ninyo na lang yung 20 over 1 times 1 fifth, ba? So, pag whole number may over 1 siya. Kaya siya naging 20 over 5 times x plus 5 plus... 20 times 3 fourth, 20 over 1 times 3 fourth, so magiging 60, 60, 20 times 3 over 4 equals, oh sorry, 60 over 4, meron pa tayong x, hindi natin kalimutan yung ating x, equals, mamultiply din natin yung 20 dito sa x, magiging 20x siya, okay? Okay, so next, simplify na natin to magiging 4x, 20 divided by 5 is 4. 4x, four quantity x, plus 5, no? Ito yung quantity x plus 5, plus 60 divided by 4, 15, tapos yung x natin dito, equals 20x. So, i-distribute natin ito by distributive property. Magiging 4x, 4 times x is 4x, plus 4 times 5 is 20, plus yung 15x natin dito, equals 20x. Okay? So, 15 at saka 4, ilan? 19x equals, or 19x plus 20 equals 20x. Okay, so dito na sa tayo sa baba. Okay, alam nyo na siguro sagot, no? So, pag nag-minus tayo ng 19x dito, minus tayo ng 19x dito, matitira. Ang matitira sa kaliwa is 20. Ang matitira sa kanan is 20x minus 19x is x. So, si Demi ay 20 years old. No? Si Demi ay 20 years old. At si... Donna ay 26, no? Pwede natin tignan isa-isa, no? Uh, 
kailangan lahat ng mga sentences na to dapat mag mag uh, fit siya dito sa sagot natin ha? so first sentence Donna is 6 years older than Demi mas patanda ba si Donna ng anim na taon sa kay Demi tama no and then one fifth of Donna's age a year ago a year ago ang age ni Donna ay no 26 minus 1 so a year ago ang age ni Donna ay 25, no? Sa so part na to dito. So, ano ang one-fifth ng 25? One-fifth of Donna's age a year ago. So, ang one-fifth ng 25 ay 5, no? Added to. Pag in natin yung 5 sa 3 fourths of Demi's age. Ano ba ang age ni Demi ngayon? 20. So, ang 3 fourths ng 20 ay magiging 3 times 20 over 1. So, magiging 60 over 4 which is equal to 15. Ano? So, 1 fifth of uh, Donna's age a year ago. Ito yun, 5. And added to 3 fourths Demi's age. Ito yung 3 fourths ng, ng age ni Demi. Equals 20 equals Demi's age. 20 ba ang age ni Demi ngayon? Okay? So, tama siya, no? So, kung makikita nyo, yung ating sagot, sinasatisfy niya lahat nung um, pinidescribe doon sa taas. Ganun mag-check ng, ano, no, no, ng, ng uh, answer. But of course, ang tinatanong dito is, yan taong ba si Donna? So, so ang pinakasagot natin sa problem na to is, 26. So, Donna is 26 years old. Okay? Yung now, yung now ang tinatanong niya. Kaya, ito yung ating sagot. No? How old is Donna? Uh, pag wala siya nakalagay na future or past, again, ay uh, ina-assume natin that uh, of course, he's asking for the present age. No? So, that's why the present age is 26. Okay, so maraming salamat. I hope na meron kayo natutunan dito sa series natin. Uh, see you at sa mga susunod na tutorials.